What's up, everybody? Ben Rudolph from Microsoft here with Eugene Kuo, Marketing Manager for MSI. Eugene, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming out. So MSI is a really interesting company because I think you guys had your roots in motherboards, graphics cards, and you're one of those companies where like, if you're into the gaming space, even if you don't own an MSI machine, you've probably played on a machine that's powered by MSI. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of people might not know the brand directly or you know are unfamiliar, but you know, we are a gaming company first and foremost, mm -hmm. and you know, everything we put our R&D into is about gaming. And you know, you can see a lot of these computers that we work with a lot of our uh, boutique partners. Mm -hmm. You know, we gave them a bunch of our, our our parts and we said, "Hey, Build us something that you guys are going to be proud of to showcase a CS. And each of these different builders came out with something unique. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see. I mean, all of these are great machines. Yep. And they're all really unique. And I think this really speaks to the breadth and the depth mm -hmm. of not just the Windows ecosystem, but the gaming ecosystem, exactly. right? There's a Windows PC for you no matter who you are, however much you want to spend, whatever you're into. And there's a gaming PC powered by MSI no matter what kinds of games you're into, how much you want to spend, whether you want a big tower, a compact tower, a mm -hmm. laptop, whatever. Exactly, yeah. So really beautiful stuff from Origin, CyberPower, iBuyPower. I love the, the uh, translucent display on the side of that one. Um, but all of that comes down to the components that you guys built. Yes. Um, and we have over here, I know like we're not going to spend time going through all yep. of these, but like just a sampling of like the breadth of the killer hardware at different price points that exactly. MSI puts together. Yeah, so, you know, for, you know, like you said, we make uh, graphics cards, motherboards, that's our roots. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we make one for, you know, any kind of customer. You know, if you're looking for a small form factor or you want to go, you know, full size tower, we can make one for you. That's awesome. Um, you know, graphics cards wise, we have one for every kind of budget. You know, if you're looking for something more, you know, price oriented, bang for the buck, we got it. You want to go flagship and, you know, knock it out of the park, we got a, 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 a 10 ATI Lightning for you. So. Awesome. So speaking of flagship, let's go check out some of this new stuff because it is some of the best stuff that I've seen yep. for gaming. So sure. This is your new Lightning graphics card, right? Yes, this is our 1080 Ti Lightning Z. Uh, this one comes with three fans, our Tri-Frozer design cooling on it. So what, what, this is, I mean, if you guys can see, like, I mean, compared to like how wide I am, like the size of this thing, like this, I mean, it's not even plugged in, it feels powerful. Yeah, exactly. You know, you need a nice bulky uh, heat sink for, uh, you know, to cool something at that, that uh, processing power. And these graphics cards are amazing, but they're like if you're building your own system, yep. you don't necessarily start with graphics card. You start with motherboard. Yeah. So, uh, and this is the new Godlike line, right? Yes. So, Godlike uh, motherboards are our flagship motherboards. Everything starts with the motherboard. You know, everything you're going to be building, everything is going to be plugged into this. So, you know, this one, you can go up to five M.2 uh, M.2 SSDs. So, you know, if you need a lot of storage, plug them all in. Um, and if you need, you know, something to, you know, power it with the graphics, you can plug in a 1080 Ti Lightning Z into it, or you can go you know, with any of our other options. And if you're looking to build you know, specific colorways, it's all mix and match for you. What I love about these, I mean, beyond the obvious spec line, beyond the obvious power, is the attention to detail that MSI puts into everything. In a lot of cases, you may not even see the motherboard. Yeah. But everything on this is so precise the machine, metal parts, everything's beautiful, you know, the beautiful labeling, everything's laid out just, just there's a lot of intentional design, even on something like a motherboard, which is really just like, you know, the chassis of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just, I think that's really nice to see that it's not just about raw specs. It's about the craftsmanship and the attention to detail because the gaming PC, especially these desktops, you can see them over there. They're about as much about individual expression and beauty yep. as they are about gaming performance. Exactly, I mean, you know, people who are making, you know, these PCs and they're making, uh, building them themselves, they want it to re represent you know, who they are and, you know, showcase what they're into. Yeah, that's great. So now to, you know, I, I built my own PCs. I've been building them for, mm -hmm. for 20 years, I guess 25 years. I'm starting to date myself. Um, but not everybody's ready to, like, go buy a motherboard, go buy graphics cards, heat sinks, power supplies, rig it all up together. Yeah. And that's where your first party line comes in. Exactly. Uh, and I love the fact that you are building really nice, well-built, high-performance machines that you can just buy off the shelf take it out of the box, plug it in, and get to work. So can we check out some of those? Yeah, let's go. All right, so what is this guy over here, this little one? All right, so what we have here is the MSI Trident 3 Arctic Mini uh, Gaming PC. Uh, this one is uh, going to go up to a GTX 1080 uh, desktop graphics right, so card. So max performance. Yeah, but it's all enclosed in a very you know compact case. Yeah, I love this size. Yeah, and it, 
the Arctic specifically is in this nice white color. Um, we made this for you know people who are like you said, who aren't you know comfortable taking a bunch of parts and building something that they might not be familiar with. Uh, but this way, you know, people who are into gaming, they might be playing on Xbox already and they want to get to PC gaming. They can go out and buy it, one of these MSI Trident Three Arctics and you know plug and play and go play whatever game they want to go right away out of the box. And you bring up a really important point, which is. I love the fact that we have great high-end gaming PCs that are ready off the shelf. You have a lot of people who are console gamers on things like Xbox One X, mm -hmm. Xbox One S, and now with Xbox Play Anywhere, a lot of those great, or actually all those great first-party titles, you can do cross-play. Exactly, right? you, like, cross you buy it for Xbox, you play it on your PC, yep. um, so titles, you know, you can now start to get that value. It's not the PC gaming ecosystem, it's not the Xbox gaming ecosystem, it's the Microsoft gaming ecosystem, exactly. and you can get Great performance from the desktop side and from the console side mm -hmm. by the game once. I actually play uh, Forza on my Xbox, and then when I go upstairs, uh, you know, after a whole day, I can keep playing on my uh, PC upstairs. It's so. a way to do it. So, what is this one? What's the price range on this? Guy? So, this one, uh, the high-end model on a 10, 1080 is going to be roughly about fifteen hundred, but they go as low as under a thousand dollars, depending on your spec and budget. That's great, and I love this. I mean, the price point, awesome. I mean, yeah. it was not that many years ago where PCs with this kind of power were. Five or six thousand yep. dollars, and they were, you know, the size of a small refrigerator. They sounded like a jet engine when you turned yeah. it on. This is great because if you're, you know, like me, I've, I've got five kids at home, mm -hmm. and space is at a premium in our house. Yep. I don't really have the space to have like a big rig like some of the ones we had over here. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing where I can put it in my office, I can use it for work, but when I'm ready to kick back at the end of the day, I can flip on that controller, I can play on my mouse and keyboard. I've got a full power gaming rig; doesn't take up a ton of space. Exactly. Awesome. So, if I want a little bit more, a little bit bigger, yep. we've got this guy over here. Yeah. So, let's talk about this as well. All right. So, what we have here is the MSI Infinite X uh, gaming desktop. So, this is more of your you know, traditional uh, type gaming desktop. Um, you know, it comes with a, uh, it actually comes with two panels. Uh, you have a traditional steels, steel panel, aluminum panel, mm -hmm. and it also comes with a tempered glass panel. So, we give you two options of how you want your uh, desktop to look. Um, what's interesting about the way that we design desktops, similar to this to it, um, we separate uh, our desktop into different chambers for maximum cooling. So you, you see here we have the C, where the CPU would sit, right. where the video card would sit, and underneath we shield it away from the power supply. So you have three different chambers for, for cooling. This is, you know, we left this glass off intentionally. Um, and I wish there was a way to transmit a sense of touch through this video because if you put your hand in here, right, this is a running PC, it's like a solid 10 to 15 degrees cooler than just the ambient air mm -hmm. out in the room. And I think it's an amazing testament. You've got the glass off, you've got the heat coming from the room, the heat coming in from the PC. You put it in here and it's like, it's cold yep. inside this PC. So talk to me a little about specs in a guy like this. Yeah, sure, so uh, we have a lot of different configurations on the Infinite X. Uh, we, you can go up to a, a single 1080 Ti, but we can also go to, down to a 1060 if you're looking to you know, maximize your, your, your money's worth. Um, newest uh, Coffee Lake Intel uh, chipset um, processors, mm -hmm. um, you know, and this one is liquid cooled. And this is another one where like, I love the, the intentionality of the design, where you know, it used to be you'd buy a big steel case, you'd kind of throw everything in the inside. This is, I mean, it's beautiful. It feels like a work of art. So you want to put that, I mean, I would put that glass panel on. Yeah. Because I want people to see what's going on here, and I want to be able to see what's going on here. Everything just looks, even down to the way the cables are wrapped, the way you have these, like, everything is just, nice everything's and tidy. in the right spot. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's, it's engineered very precisely. It's designed really precisely. And I like that, not just from a, per, a visual perspective, but from a value perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are really, really nice machines. So we've got two great desktops. Mm -hmm. And desktops are fantastic, but they're not like laptops that get the screen built in. Exactly. Which is why you guys introduced this guy, because a great gaming PC without an equally awesome monitor really degrades that experience. But this one makes experience outstanding. So tell me what's new about this monitor. Sure, so this is our newest uh, MPG27CQ. Uh, the MPG27CQ is our flagship uh, monitor. Um, and what's interesting about this is, so you know, this resolution, it's gonna be a 2K resolution. Um, so it goes up to 1440p, uh, 144 hertz refresh rate for the people who are in, uh, you know, enjoying um, high-paced uh, games like Counter-Strike or, sure. or you know, any shooters. Um, but what we did was we integrated it so that 
you have RGB LED lights on the bottom. Okay. And these RGB LED lights are uh, integrated with SteelSeries. So with SteelSeries engine, first thing is you can uh, sync all of the accessories from SteelSeries and have them all linked up in a certain lighting profile. But the other cool thing is when you play games like Counter-Strike, um, it'll automatically detect, and once you have your settings all you know set up, um, you can ch change it so that these LED can give you certain information about the game. So you can set these first two to show you know your your amount of health, and as it goes, as you lose health and it drops, it'll visually tell you, hey, you're you know running out of health, and you know you can show uh, how much ammo you have, etc. And all the information is shown to you across here, so you can actually take away a lot of your uh, HUD. And right. you know you can play with you know visually nothing except the actual game, and that's what I love about like that's that's smart design, right? Because it's not just about having a beautiful visual; mm -hmm. it's about giving yourself a competitive edge, especially if you're playing a game like Counter Strike. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And the fact that I can now at a glance, kind of at that, I can you know as I look at my monitor, I can now have more of the monitor mm -hmm. dedicated to actual gameplay, yeah. and have key information down here off the screen. That can give me that little bit of an edge that's going to help me make yeah. help make me a better player. Okay. I also love, and I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's a little bit of a matte finish on this as yeah. well um, to reduce glare, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah, so the panel itself is a VA panel, and what's cool is the, all our monitors right now are curved. So that curvature gives you that slight you know, immersion mm -hmm. into your game. So as it curves out, um, you, can, you can get a little more of that peripheral feel. Yeah, and gaming, I mean, gaming is where I really notice the advantage of a curved monitor. Yeah, exactly. Right? When, I'm, when I'm working productivity, I've worked you know, with, with single pane monitors, mm -hmm. I've put three screens up, I've used curved. Yeah. When I play games, that's where I really get the value out of a curved monitor. Because mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking dead on, I can see the whole screen, it immerses me a little bit, I like the matte display. Um, and this is what you really need to bring the power of these to life. Yeah. Because if I'm running with one of these great new machines on an old 1080p monitor with a lower refresh rate, maybe it's glossy. Yeah, you're not going to get the experience. I'm not going to get the experience. I'm certainly not going to get this. Yep. Um, this is a heck of a setup. Um, Eugene, thank you so much. This was awesome. Yeah, thank I mean, you for I, coming out. I love coming here to see what MSI is up to mm -hmm. because I love that dichotomy of like the great components that you make to power the gaming ecosystem that Windows is such a huge part of, mm. and then see what you do when you take all that stuff and kind of bring it all together in your own labs and crank out amazing machines like yep. this. Awesome. That's it for MSI. Uh, we got a lot more to cover. Stick around.